with the worship he will never fail I trust in God my Savior the one who will never fail he will never fail I trust in God my Savior the one Hallelujah, everybody. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And aren't you so glad that you can trust in a God that will never, ever, ever fail? Come on, we ought to be excited about that. Our God is faithful. He is infinite. He is sovereign. Anytime we call on his name, he responds to us. It is his desire. Come on, I see you singing. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered. I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered. I sought the Lord and he heard. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. I sought the Lord. And he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust in God. My Savior, the one who will never fail he will never fail i trust in god my savior the one who will never fail he will never fail come on in hard times you got to know who you trust in. And you've got to be able to sing it for yourself. And you got to cry through the whole entire song. You just got to sing it till you believe it. I'm going to trust in God because he will never, no, never, no, never fail. Y'all going to stop playing because that's going to end up being the whole service right there. We're going to be right stuck right there that he will never fail. In all things, he's good. In all things, he reigns supreme. He is sovereign. He is great. He is marvelous. He is wonderful. And so we understand that this is the day the Lord has made. So we ought to rejoice in it and we ought to be glad in it. We ought to bless the Lord at all times and let his praise be continually in our mouth. We trust in you, God. That is our declaration this morning, that we trust in God. We trust in our Savior. We trust in our Master. We trust in our Healer. We trust in our Provider. We trust in our Waymaker. We trust in the Lily of the Valley. We trust in the Balm of Gilead. We trust in the King of Kings. We trust in the Lord of Lords. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah. God of it all, we trust in him. Amen? Amen, amen, amen. Deacon Scott, I'd like to invite you to the podium. We're going to go ahead and open up in prayer and scripture. And if that song is still murmuring in your spirit, you just go ahead and sing it on quietly to yourself because you're going to have to get what you need on today. That's why we come in here. We come in here to get what we need. And you can't be worried about what your neighbor got going on. Because if they don't want to get in the presence, that's on them. But we are going to press into the presence of God. Amen.
This morning's word is coming from Psalm 50. The 50th Psalm, the mighty one of God. The Lord speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. From Zion, perfectly in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me my consecrated ones who made a covenant with, my, <clears throat> with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for God himself is judged. Hear, O my people, I will speak, O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Do not rebuke you are for your sacrifices, for your brunt offerings, which are forever before me. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his holy word. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you for first being God all by yourself. We want to thank you for loving us and keeping us. We want to thank you, dear God, for this beautiful morning, dear God, that you created. A morning, dear God, that we come with a sense of gratitude and thanksgiving. It's a new day. Yeah. It's a fresh start. It's grace that you've given us for another day. You watched over us as we journeyed through each day of last week. And no matter what the outcome of last week, it was a good week because we're here today. So we just give you glory and honor and praise. We just thank you, dear God that you navigated us through each day, each night. You woke us up each morning, dear God, and kept us and started us on our way, dear God. We can't do nothing but praise you, but thank you, but say hallelujah to your holy name. Even those, dear God, who are on their bed of affliction this morning, dear God, we lift up and we praise because they are feeling something, dear God. Oh God, we want to lift up, dear God, this morning, dear God, uh, Sister Mama, dear God. Oh, may she, Father God, touch her body, dear God. Touch, dear God, Deacon Saunders, dear God, or Sanders, dear God, as he stays by her side. Touch, Father God, Minister Alfini this morning, dear God. Thank you, dear God, that she's coming along, dear God. And there's so many, dear God, I don't know their names, but you know who they are. You know where they are. You know the bed of affliction that they sit in, dear God. So stop by nursing homes, dear God. Stop by hospital beds, dear God. Stop by, dear God, the prisons today, dear God. Stop by the streets of Norristown, dear God. Stop by for those who don't even know you and have no intentions to want to know you. But Father God, I know that there's a God that wants to prick their hearts. So we pray for that one that will repent, dear God. We pray, dear God, for that lost soul, dear God. We pray, dear God, for the saved and the unsaved today, dear God. Father God, you are the creator of all. So God, we pray for that one that doesn't know you and are pardoned in their sins. That this day, this very day, that they might give their life to Christ. Even if it's not this branch of Zion, some branch of Zion. Maybe it's a street corner. Maybe, Father God, is a mother talking to a child. But wherever it is, dear God, touch that someone, dear God. Because, Father God, today is the day of salvation. And we'll be forever careful to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm going a, I'm to a switch up the, the program. We're going to do the announcements after praise and worship. I just feel 
the spirit of the Lord very uh, strong in this place. We were singing the song about trusting in God. And as I was sitting over there, I start to feel, feel heavy. Uh -huh. Because there are some in here who are feeling heavy. Uh -huh. And they're trying to trust in God. Uh -huh. They want to trust in God. Uh -huh. But they're feeling heavy. Feeling heavy. And God says that I give you the, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness uh -huh. and the oil of joy for mourning. So instead of jumping to the announcements and disrupting the flow of the spirit, I'd like to ask if the male chorus could come on and let the worship flow and begin to continue to break up the atmosphere. And that as they praise and sing, that you would praise and rejoice to God with them. Because there's something that shifts in the atmosphere when we praise. Our praise is a weapon against the enemy. We don't have to let the enemy do what he wants to do or wreak havoc in our lives. And so we're going to pray that spirit of heaviness out of this place and praise it out of this place and dance and sing before the Lord. Is that all right? All right. You know, sister, uh, Minister Cole is right. I'm also going to change things up. Uh -uh. Amen. And for the Mel Corps, they know it's nothing new because sometimes we rehearse and I get up here and, and before praise and worship or our, our selections, things just happen and this Holy Spirit just takes over. I, I look over at the, at the church throughout the years. It's, tr it's true that we do serve a living God. Yes. We serve a God who, who, when prayers goes up, blessings truly, truly come down. And, and, and just to prove it to you, if, you, if you look to my left and to your right, that used to be a field outside, the, outside those panel windows <laughs> right there. There's a building over there. No doubt. That's There's right. a building over there. Yeah. We have monitors that I can actually hear myself right yeah, now. Yeah, no doubt. So now I actually know what I sound like, so maybe I shouldn't be leading a song. I don't know. But anyway, but look at God downstairs in the kitchen. What do we pray for? Stove, a floor. You go down there now. The prayers has been answered. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I didn't do that. You didn't do that. Nobody but God did that. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Now prayers are going, now prayers are going up for changing that parking lot into another building. Can you see it? Can you see it? When our when our pastor for 30 years retired, we prayed that we you would bring someone who who keep the spirit going and light a new fire. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, Pastor Randy. Come on, man. And Minister Nicole, I can't say enough about her. We prayed for her. Yes, we did. Yes, we She's did. She's here. Yes, we did. And it is not because of her. She had no choice but to be here because yes, God indeed. let her here. That's right. Unbelievable. That's so say, right. saying all that, there's only one thing I can say to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Only one thing I can say to the Lord. Lord, I love you. Yes, I love you. How I love you. I really love you. Just for who you are in all your glory. My soul says, Holy, holy. Changing, I'm still changing. Hold no joke. Come on. Killing me, John. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Teaching and teaching with my mind. With my mind. Stay on Jesus. Stay on Jesus. Stay on Jesus. Stay on Jesus. Preaching and teaching with my mind. With my mind. Stay on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Whoa, singing and preaching with my mind. With my mind. Jesus, well, I've been singing and praying with my mind. Stay on Jesus. Well, I've been singing and praying with my mind. Stay on Jesus. Ah, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, woke 
up this morning with my mind, with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind, with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind, with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, walking and talking with my mind, with my mind, stayed on Jesus. Walking and talking with my mind, with my mind, stayed on Jesus. Walking and talking with my mind, with my mind, stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. you but if you woke up with your mind on anything else you might find yourself in trouble I know from experience what happens when you wake up with your mind stayed on anything but Jesus the day don't never seem to go right but when you wake up with your mind stayed on Jesus it doesn't matter what comes your way that day you will have the peace of God which surpasses all understanding because that peace will guard your heart and your mind. Keep your mind stayed on Jesus. In the midst of the storm, you got to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. When people are trying you in your daytime at work or wherever you are, you got to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. There is a promise and there is a plan for your life. And the moment that you take your eyes off of Jesus and put it on them, people, you will find yourself out of order and you have too much work to do, too much purpose on the inside of you to let your eyes be moved by what you see happening around you. Can I get a witness? When Peter was walking on the water, he had his eyes fixed on Jesus. And it wasn't until the moment that he took his eyes off of Jesus that he began to sink. So if you don't want to sink, if you don't want to drown, you've got to keep your eyes looking unto the hills from whence cometh your help. Because your help comes who? From who? Your help comes from who? The Lord. The Lord. 
That's why we trust in him, because we know our help comes from him. That's why we keep our minds stayed on him, because we know that our help comes from him. Everything that you need, I promise you, take it from me. It will be found in the presence of the Lord. You got anxiety, your peace is in his presence. You're feeling depressed and sad, your joy is in his presence. You need money to take care of your household, your provision is in his presence. People are coming against you, they rising up with lies and all this kind of stuff. You're, you're, the, guess who stands against the accuser of the brethren? Jesus, it's all in his presence. You're sick in your body, your healing is in his presence. Everything you need, even the things that you can't think to ask for, are in the presence of God. The stuff you don't know that you need. The stuff that you don't even know that you need, it's not even in your mind to ask God for it, is in his presence. So we have to keep our minds stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we've welcomed the Holy Spirit into this atmosphere. I welcome all of you here who are in person and all of you who are watching online. Welcome to Siloam Baptist Church, God's house of hope, healing, and wholeness. We're located at 1329 Willow Street. So if you're online, we want to invite you to come on in. We know it's hot outside, but it's cool in here, except for when the spirits start moving because then the fire falls. But this is the kind of fire that you can survive. There's another type of fire that none of us really want to taste. Amen. So I'll deal with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you in Jesus name. So uh, really quickly, Sister Rachel went downstairs because it is time to dismiss our young people. So you guys could go ahead and head down to youth church. All of our school age children, you can head on down to youth church, but I'm going to give the announcements as they transition downstairs. Um, this Sunday afternoon, um, Sunday, May 26th at 4 p.m., Minister Rob Robinson of Word for Growth Ministry will be hosting Hymns to Him. Yeah. Hymns to him here at Siloam Baptist Church. One thing you should know, it will not be live streamed. So if you want to participate in it and you want to be part of hymns to him, you need to come on into the building at 4 p.m. Amen. Vacation Bible School is very quickly approaching. For those of you who are parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, you know the neighborhood kids, we want you to get your children enrolled. Okay, it's for school age starting, I guess, around age five all the way up to age 14. We want to have them come on out. But for those of you who want to help, there is going to be an emergency meeting because we're getting close and we need to get our, our ducks in a row. Amen. It's going to be this coming Friday, May 31st at 6 p.m. Minister Alfini will be in the house. Come on. Can we declare that in the atmosphere? She will be in the house and we are going to be meeting um remember we do this all for the glory of god and so our goal is to create a safe loving environment for our children to be able to enter into where they will hear the word of the lord amen, amen. sisters of siloam on saturday june 1st at 9 30 a.m we are going to be having our monthly fellowship and i have the privilege this month of teaching and we will be talking about the power of tongues hallelujah the power of tongues it is a it is a gift and if you don't know about it, I want to invite you out so you can learn about it. And then I also want to just advise everyone that the tutoring is on summer break. Tutoring is on summer break. So the kids are about to be out of school. They have about two more weeks and the tutoring is already out of school. All right. So they will see you all again in the fall. Amen. So if all hearts and minds are clear, I believe that is all the announcements I had. But we are going to transition to our offering appeal, which is going to be by our very own Minister Sharon Baptiste. Would you come? Good morning, church family. We serve an awesome God, and I am very happy to stand behind, be in front of you, and very happy to worship with you, whether it's uh, online or here in person. The Lord gives us the blessings 
to be able to work, earn, save, spend, and accumulate wealth. It is an honor to God to share our wealth as faithful financial stewards. We joyfully worship God each Sunday by giving back to him from what we have earned or acquired. Let us as a church family join in worshiping God as faithful stewards through giving of offerings and tithes like we always do. And the scripture for today is Luke 638. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Let us pray, family. Dear Heavenly Father, great is thy faithfulness. It is new every morning. We thank you, O oh God, for blessing us with this new day. Please accept our offerings and tithes as a gift of worship to you. May you, O oh Lord, multiply what we give for the effective growth of our church ministries and charities. We ask that you receive our offerings and continue to supply all our needs. May your peace be in our hearts. Your grace be in our words. Your love be in our hands, your joy, O oh Lord, in our souls. Let the church say, Amen. Uh, would uh, the congregation please rise and exit to the outer aisle and follow the direction of your usher?
as I was saying earlier about the Lord blessing us us Melchorus and the congregation have been praying for a lot of our sick and shut in well today we have a blessing brother Charles Fisher is back in the house y'all Remember I told you about that living God? That's what I serve. If I could not say one more word, all I would do is just wave my hand. Amen. How many of you are familiar with this song? We've sung it before. Brother Carlton sang it. And even before Brother Carlton, Brother Rudy McClure sang it. Ah. So well, we're going to just keep it alive. Yeah, Cuz told me, Doug, I want you to learn this. Okay. So, me, you know, practice it. Listen to it, practice it, listen to it. And for some reason, it just never seemed to sound right. Then it finally dawned on me why. You don't have a southern bone in your body. <laughs> I'm used to pronouncing words as north. I, but down south is I. Forever is forever. <laughs> We're going to try to sing it in. If I couldn't say one word, I'll just Wave my hand If I could say one word I'll just wave my hand He's been good Good to me Kept me out of danger when danger was all around me If, if I, I could say one word I'll just wave, wave my hand. hand I couldn't have done what you did When you went to Calvary Yeah he shed, he shed his blood, he shed his blood for you and me, and that's why I'm standing here, cause I know it will, will forever stand, if I, if I, could say one word, Ooh, I'll just wave, wave my hand. I couldn't have done what my Jesus did when he went to Calvary. He shed, he shed his blood. Whoa, he shed it, he shed it for me, and that's why I'm standing here on your word, cause your word will forever stand. If I, if I, if I, I say one word, whoa, I'll just wait. Wave my hand. If 
I couldn't say, I couldn't have done what my Jesus did when he went to Calvary. He shed, he shed his blood for you. Go, oh, he shed it for me. And that's why I'm standing here. And I'm standing here on his word. Go, oh, his word forever stand. If I, if I could say one word, if I would, I'll just wave, wave my hand. I'll just 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 with my Traveling from place to place Many times I'm treated so bad But when I stop and think about it I can't miss the friend that I never had Oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand I can't make it by myself Oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand As I continue to run for Jesus, even if I have to run alone, cause it's my determination, make that beautiful heaven my home. Oh, oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand. I can't be by myself. Oh, oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand. Listen here. I said, hold me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, hold me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, the reason why, I'm hold me, I want you to hold me, Lord, Jesus, if you don't hold me, hold me, Lord, I'll surely fall, Jesus, why, hold me, I want you to hold me, Lord, Jesus, you've been 
my father Oh, oh when my father was gone Jesus. The reason why oh, me. I want you to hold me Lord Jesus. You be the mother Oh, oh, me. oh to the motherland Jesus. The reason why oh, me. I want you to hold me Lord Jesus. If you don't hold me, hold me. Lord I surely fall Jesus. I said hold me Hold me Jesus, Jesus, I want you to hold me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, help me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, I want you to hold me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, the reason why, hold me, I want you to hold me, Lord, Jesus, you've been a lawyer, hold me, oh, in the courtroom, Jesus, the reason why, hold me, I want you to hold me, Lord, Jesus, you've been a doctor, hold me, oh, in the sick room, Jesus, the reason why, hold me, I want you to hold me, Lord. Jesus, you be the friend, hold me. Oh, when my friends were gone, Jesus, the reason why, hold me, me, I want you to hold me, Lord. Jesus, if you don't hold me, hold me, Lord, I surely fall. Jesus, I said, hold me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, hold me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, I want you to help me, hold me, Jesus, Jesus, I said, hold me, hold me. Jesus, Jesus, you see, I can't miss the friend that I never had. Oh, Lord, Lord, I need you to hold my head. I can't make it by myself. Oh, Lord, Lord, I need you to hold my head. Listen here, listen here. As I go traveling from place to place, many times I'm cheated so bad. But when I stop and think about it, I can't miss the friend that I never had. Oh, oh Lord, I need you to hold my head. I can't make it by myself. Oh, oh Lord, I need you to hold my head. Lord, you know that I'm your child. And I'm doing the best that I can While my ways get so hard Lord, you know I don't understand Oh Lord, oh Lord I need you to hold my hand I can't be by myself Oh Lord, oh Lord I need you to hold my hand I can't be by myself Oh Lord, oh Lord I need you to hold my hand. Well, praise the Lord, church. If ever there was a time where that song rings true to me, that I need the Lord to hold my hand. Or y'all going to leave me out here by myself? I need the Lord to hold, hold my hand. Hold my hand. And I was sitting here, and I said, and Lord, don't let go. That's right. <laughs> we bless and praise the Lord today for who he is. Thank God for my pulpit company this morning. And also to all the ministers that are here, to our deacons, and to you, my Siloam family. We are just grateful to God for what the Lord is doing. Uh, in our lives. Let's pray. God, we are thankful and grateful for who you are. And grateful and thankful for all the things that you continue to do with us. Grateful for the things that you continue to do, not just for us, but with us. And Father, we are of this persuasion that 
we need you more now than we've ever needed you before. And so God, we ask collectively, corporately, Lord, don't leave us alone. Because as old folks said, God, we don't know where we would be and what we would do without you. For Lord, you brought us a long way. And God, we're grateful. Thank you for the Siloam family. Thank you for allowing us to be on this corner for over 120 years, God. We look forward, Lord, for the blessings that are yet to come. Lord, I thank you for saving souls. Thank you for reclaiming those who are backslidden. God, we thank you for healing today. Well, there's a whole host of folk, God, that you've already healed in this place. And Lord, for this, we just say thank you. Thank you, God, for bringing those who were in hospitals back out of the hospital. God, for we know that your healing hand is everywhere. So even, God, as we pray and even as we stand here today, there are, are many who are on the sick list and the shut-in list. We pray, God, that you'll touch their bodies in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you'll look on those who want to be here but just cannot be here. Father God, we do thank you. And even at this moment, God, we ask that you'll touch Sister Mamie. God, we don't know, but you know. God bless her husband, God. Lord, we pray that you keep your loving arms wrapped around them. For not if you do it, but Lord, but when and why you're doing it. God, we'll praise your name. Father, we just ask right, right now that you just have your way in this worship experience. I pray, Lord God, that you'll bless the words of my mouth. The meditation of my heart, that it be acceptable in your sight. For Lord, you are my strength. You are my redeemer. In the name of Jesus, we ask. Amen. And amen. If you have your Bible, and I hope that you do, open your Bible to uh, Genesis chapter 39. We're going to continue in our series on Joseph. This will be the second installment on Joseph, Joseph. And would you please stand when you have Genesis 39, verses 1, 2, and and if you have it just say amen. amen if you don't have it say wait all right Genesis 39 and Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar an officer of Pharaoh, uh -huh. captain of the guard. Uh -huh. An Egyptian brought him, right. bought him rather, of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. I want to talk this morning as the Lord shall guide from this thought. People get mad when they leave you for dead and you don't die. Come on. <laughs> 
preach. People, people get mad when they leave you for dead. What you say, baby? And you don't die. When we left Joseph, we recall that his brothers who were full of jealousy. Let me stop right there. I feel like preaching today. His brothers were full of jealousy. These brothers that were full of jealousy decided for themselves that because of their younger brother and his dreams, because of the love that his father had for him, because of a tremendous love and favor on him, and because of what God was doing in his life. Let me put, put, a, put a finger right there. Do you not know that God favors us? And don't you know that because you got favor on your life, people don't like you? I'm a little handicapped because I can't move like I want to for right now. But there are people that are jealous because of who you are. Don't take me there too, too soon, son. <laughs> These boys, or should I say, family members, thought of a surefire way to rid themselves of this good-for-nothing, younger, spoiled brat. To rid themselves of him for the rest of their lives. Remember, remember, it was his brother Judah. In chapter 37 and verse 26 that had said, what profit is it if, if we kill our brother and then conceal his blood? Church, it was right there that the evil thoughts of them simply stated that it's all right. It's all right if we pretend Joseph is dead and we can spread the rumors or the lies that our little brother was killed by some wicked beast. Can I footnote here and just let you know that your tongue sometimes is worse than any weapon? Your tongue is worse than any gun or bullet? Worse than any knife or blade? But I hear God's word echo in my ears from Isaiah 54 and 17. That no weapon, no weapon formed against you and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. I found out that this is the heritage of the servant or children of the Lord and their righteousness is from me, saith the Lord. And at this point, somebody say at this point, of their wicked minds, they thought surely by now Joseph was dead. They thought for sure he probably died of thirst. They thought in their minds their brother who was chained in a cage like a wild beast driven in a heated cage day and night on a long 30 day journey through the desert stripped of his garments either died from the exposure 
of the heat of the sun and the cold of winter, he had to be shown up dead. And the best of all, they said, we don't ever have to hear his voice or see his face again. Can I footnote again and tell you that what you meant for evil, what you meant for evil, God meant it for my good. Lean over and tell your neighbor, I'm still here. Tell him again, I'm still here. No matter what you said, no matter what you did, Thank you, Lord. no matter how you slander Come on here. my name, I'm still here. Church folk get mad when they leave you for dead and you don't die. It all goes back to the stuff that happens in our families. Favoritism in families may be avoidable, but its decisive effects should be minimized. Parents may not be able to change their feelings toward a favorite child but they can change their actions toward others. See, jo Joseph's brothers were already angry over the possibility of being ruled by their little brother. And as you know, Joseph then fueled it, fueled the fire with his immature attitude and his boastful manner. So now Joseph learns this hard lesson and his angry brothers sold him into slavery to get rid of him. Church jealousy, could jealousy ever make you feel like killing somebody? Before you say, of course not, then look inside of yourself. Look inside the context of the story. And you tell yourself, let me check me out. You got to check yourself out. You got to check you out. You got to check yourself out. Because deep down inside of all of us, there is something that goes against the love that we say we have toward one another. Oh, I know I'm preaching. Y'all just ain't saying amen. Because what happens, what happens, what happens with us? Sometimes we get furiously jealous over what somebody else has. Oh, God. Listen, Siloam, 10 men were willing to kill their brother. Would you kill your brother over a coat? Kill him over his dreams? Remember, the brothers not only hated Joseph as a brother, but the real reason seems to be that they were rebelling against the matter contained in the dreams and against the divine power itself and against the person who had given the dreams. Can I tell you that in biblical times, a dream was more than just a dream. 
Many believed it was one way the supernatural world communicated with the humans. Some would go as far as sleeping in the temple or another holy place. Jews and Egyptians and Assyrians and, and Greeks all had professional dream interpreters. They had the assistance of a handbook to tell them what the dream said. They had something, something to assist them in what they needed in order to tell you what the dream was. But their deep jealousy had grown into an ugly rage, binding them completely to what was right. Tell your neighbor that jealousy can be hard to recognize. Jealousy can be hard to recognize because our reason for it seems to make sense. But jealousy left unchecked. Jealousy grows quickly. Come here, boy. <laughs> it, it, it grows quickly. Like a fungus. Like a fungus. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It leads to sin. Yo, 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 jealousy can grow so quickly, it can lead you to sin. That's why you got to check yourself. I heard somebody say it like this, check yourself you got to check yourself. Can I just digress just for a minute? No, I'm not going to do that. The longer you cultivate your jealous feelings, the harder it is to uproot them. So the time to deal with jealousy is when you notice yourself keeping score of what others have. Sometimes in times like these when, when folk leave you for dead, I have to keep telling myself that Jesus Saw the best in me. Come on now. <laughs> he saw the best in me. When everybody else. Hallelujah. Could only see the worst in me. Wow. That's why I love him. <laughs> I love him because not only did he wash away my sin. But he placed me in a good spot. Yeah. Can I tell can I tell can I tell y'all this? Can I tell us this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesterday evening went to a birthday cookout at my sister's house. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I've been I've been wanting a Genesis 80 for a few months now. I like that car. 
And I pulled up in her driveway. And there's this green G80 Genesis parked in the driveway. I got a little beside myself. (laughs) Am I on? And I walked in the house thinking to myself, who got the keys? And I told sister girl, I said, I said, you went and got that car knowing that I wanted that car. And she said, I didn't know you wanted that car, bro. And my My little jealousy. Good gravy, you got it before I got it. I had to check myself. Y'all gonna help me preach this morning. Because, because, because. I wanted to be the first. Y'all help me check me. I wanted to be the first in the family to get the G80. So any of y'all, any of y'all want to donate to my fun, I'll be all right. It was at this time I hear Joseph reflecting to himself. I never thought family could ever do this to me. Brother John, here I am being treated like a piece of merchandise. Here I am being treated like an old dusty rag. Here I am being walked around like a mangy dog. Here I am locked up in a cage. Here I am chained up like a wild animal only because they saw the worst in me and left me like I was going to die. But I'm not dead. God is seeing me through. That's why I tell you, church, folk get mad when they leave you for dead and you didn't die. They talked about you. Help me out, son. They lied about you. They even lied on you. They even spread malicious stories about your character. But in your worst of times, God can and God will sustain you. Because no matter how you see me, I want to let you know that God loves me. He loves and he heals me. His love is my comfort for every sorrow. His love is my provision for every lack. And even right now, his love is a solution for every problem. Yes, Siloam. People get mad when they leave you for dead and you don't die. Do I have a witness? Well, come here, Jesus. They hung him on a cross. They took him on Golgotha's hill, pierced him in his side. Yes, but Jesus, he didn't die. But then they took a spear 
and jammed it in his side. And the Bible says that blood and water came out of him. But then one morning, they dropped their heads when the whole room got dark. They got dark from the third to the sixth to the ninth hour. They took Jesus down off the cross. They thought they had died, that he had died. So they put him in a burial tomb. But oh, that wasn't the end of it. Can I tell you that on Friday, they thought they killed him. But on Saturday, he went down in the grave and preached to those that were in the tombs. But early, I said early, early on Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. They thought they had killed Jesus. But I want you to know today, he lives. How do you know he lives? Because he lives in me and he lives in you. Is there anybody here today? They thought they killed you. But can you raise your hand and tell them I'm still here? I'm still alive. Tell them. Tell them. They thought they hung you out on the corner. But you're still here. Tell them. Y'all left me for dead. But I'm still alive. Tell them. You talked about me. And even talked about my mama. But I'm still here. Tell them. They scandalized my name. But I'm still here. They thought. They killed you. They thought. They assassinated you. But oh, yes, I'm still here. Won't he do it? Won't God do it? And guess what? You are a witness to tell everybody you thought you killed me. Yeah. Uh, but I'm still here. Still here. Uh. Y'all stuck knives in my back and left me for dead. But I'm still here. Won't God do it? Then when I found out that the boy said this morning, uh -huh. if I can't say a word, I just wave my hand. Can I get 10, 15 of y'all to just thank God for being on his wake up list this morning? about us from time to time you got to be strong enough I heard a comedian I'm done y'all I'm done but I heard a comedian what's the lady's name Ann Esther That's right. And that's the old Sanford and Son. She said to, what's her name? Uh, no, not, not Fred. Grady. Fred was out of town. And Grady told, told Esther, say, you can't be in here. Because Fred said, 
don't let nobody in the house. And she said, I'm not just nobody. Uh-huh. And she said, you old fool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she started talking about all of this and that to Grady. And Grady said, sticks and stones. You got that right. She watched that same episode. And I'm just saying to, to all of us in Siloam, yeah, it's sticks and stones that'll bust you up. But words from your neighbors can't hurt you. Y'all, 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 y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Folk will talk about us. Slander your name. Yeah. Let me let me take that back. Slander your good name. Can I, can I see the hands of those of us that have a good name? We got a good name. Yeah. And then what makes it even better is Jesus put His name on us. Don't worry about what folks are saying about you. Child, we'd be dead a long time ago. Can I say it like I want to say it? Us would have been dead a long time ago if we let what y'all said. But you left me for dead. Whoa, the blood still works. Tell yourself I'm still here. Oh, no, tell yourself, I'm still here. Yeah. Pat yourself on the shoulder and tell yourself, I'm still here in spite of what the devil tried to do to me. Oh. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day... I know Yeah, I know it Yeah Well, one day These are dying your neighbor he's coming back again he's coming tell your neighbor he's coming back again for who y'all left me for dead one day Jesus died I know How many people in here are saved today? How many people in here are saved today? All right then. I see some, some no hands. But if you're not saved, the Bible says it like this. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. That God has raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. Anybody need salvation today? If you need salvation, come on up here. Come on. Anybody need a church home? Everybody here got a church home? Don't make me come here and pull you out. Everybody good? If you good, and you know you good, come on, take a seat. Oh, yeah, I know it. Come on now. Don't you know? Oh, one day. Jesus. And I know.
Hallelujah. I got one more point and I'm done. When people stomp on you, uh -huh. they kick you down. Can I tell you what to do? What do you do? Get up. Yeah. Wow. Get up. Get up. And then what? Dust yourself off. Come on, Deke. Dust yourself off. And keep a walking. Keep walking. Just keep it moving. Keep moving. That's good, sir. That's good. That's good. Praise God for you. In the hospital, but God brought him out. Hey, baby girl, come here, man. Yep. Come here, Nicole. Sister Dominique is uh, Nicole, the minister Nicole is going to pray with her. And I want to hold y'all up. But we're just grateful to the Lord. She just got out of school. Yeah. <laughs> Cum laude. Wow. Wow. The Lord is doing marvelous things with us and for us. And we ought to surely, truly be glad of what God is doing. Y'all come on back next Sunday. Next Wednesday. Today's Memorial Day. Any veterans in here? Got one, two, three, four, five. Amen. Six. We thank God for all of our veterans. Amen. We bless the Lord for all of you. Thank you all upstairs for doing what you've done. Thank God for our music ministry. Y'all made these guys sound real good today. Bro John said he heard himself. Amen. Amen. Father, we do thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your loving kindness. Father, can I just tell you that we thank you corporately that folk left us for dead. But we're still here. But we give you the glory. 
we give you the praise. Yes. God, we give you so much thanks. It all belongs to you. Father, I love you today. I love you for keeping us. Even when we couldn't keep ourselves. Thank you, Lord. God, thank you for Miss Dominique and thank you for this baby. Pray that you will continue to keep them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you'll watch over us even as we leave this place going into several different directions. But don't leave us alone, God, because we need you, Father. While others are leaving us for dead, continue to pick us up, Lord. Carry us through. And then, Lord, Give us the words that we can be a witness, not to say, I told y'all so, but give us the words to let others know that if we followed Christ Jesus, everything is going to be all right. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, who is Jesus the Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest with us, abide with us now and forevermore. Let all of God sing together, God's children sing together. Amen. Happy Memorial Day. Somebody eat a hot dog for me. God bless you, brother.